Want to make money paleo early game? Stick around and I'll show you how to profit from gardening and how to make money while you're waiting for your crops to grow. So we'll get 17 grand from that. That's not bad. And then I still have more that I can sell afterwards. Uh, the gardening secret. Gardening may seem slow at first, but it is a gold mine. Specific crops give different buffs and experimenting is the key. Don't overlook gardening. It's more profitable than fishing and looting, especially as you level up. Gardening is a passive income. So once you get going, you can put it at the back of your mind and work on progressing in other areas of the game. You're gonna wanna stick around until the end of the video because I'm gonna share something specific that I'm doing with my gardening that's making me a lot of money. Getting started, me Baru, your gardening guide. Start with a hoe and a watering can and pray at the phoenix to level up quickly. This is something that easily gets overlooked, so don't forget to do it. It's important to note that only harvesting gives you experience. Make sure your focus is full anytime you start harvesting. Stacking full focus and a boost of EXP from the Phoenix Shrine is huge when starting your gardening skill. Something that I wish I had done a lot sooner, planting and growing. Plant before 6 a.m. and set an in real life alarm to rewater. Plants always go into the next stage of their cycle at 6 a.m. That's why this is so important. Experiment with different buffs as you level up and learn about crops and combos. You're gonna find out what works well for you. Start with carrots and potatoes, then grow cotton, wheat, and rice for profit. Becoming self-sufficient. Buy a seed collector from Bedru and make money by growing and selling cotton and wheat. You can sell the surplus of seeds. This is something you can set up while you're sleeping in real life and make money that way. It might be worth it at some point to go buy crafting licenses at the mayor's office. Passing the time. While waiting for your crops to grow, run around Bahari Bay, picking up items and catching bucks. You can make roughly 5,000 gold an hour doing this, meaning you're making 5K on top of everything else you're making from your garden. All right, I'm just coming at you quickly in the middle of this edit. I ended up discovering that if you're good at hunting, you can actually make a lot of cash just hunting Cernux. We did a few tests during stream and it ended up working out that I was able to make roughly about $10,000 off of the hide and the meat just from hunting the Cernux. So hang out around the east side of the map. That's where you're gonna find a lot of Cernux spawning. No, this is just for people that are good at hunting. If you're not so great at hunting, definitely stick to Pari Bay. But this is a great extra way of making money while you're waiting for your crops to grow. Trust me, I'm at a point in the game where I have more money than I know what to do with. Um, why gardening works. Gardening is a passive income. While mining, fishing, and questing, your farm is growing. It might feel like a grind, but it's worth it for the extra and easy money later. Not to mention, once you start getting your skills up, you're gonna have access to better tools and overall gardening really does just take seconds. And those seconds turn into this was just to give you a basic understanding of what to do and to not procrastinate on getting your garden going and how to fill your time while you're waiting for your garden to grow. In the future, I'll create a video with very specific crop layouts for maximum buffs and money-making techniques. While this game is new, me and my team are working hard to produce the best methods possible. As of right now in the game, I'm doing something called a grid pattern. I'm doing this specifically with wheat and cotton. Wheat and cotton take a really long time to grow, but when you sell them, it's worth it. I have more seeds and crops than I know what to do with now. Don't underestimate fertilizing. Fertilizing will also increase the quality of your crops, allowing for you to sell it for more. And one of the reasons that I use wheat instead of anything else is because I use that for a lot of my crafting recipes for cooking. You can actually take your crops, do your cooking sessions, and then sell that food for even more money. Of course, that takes more time, so pick your battles. That's it for this video. Okay, thanks. Bye.